Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever this video finds you. I hope you're having a rad time. I'm the figure dude, and on today's Work in Progress Wednesday, I'm going to make myself an updated, or, well, updated, relatively modern road dog. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures, dude. Okay, so I stumbled on my words a little bit saying I'm going to make a modern road dog because it's 2022 and I'm pretty sure this road dog is from like 2014 when they had the, they were like kind of with the authority. Um, they fought the shield at WrestleMania, WrestleMania 30. Um, so it's been a little bit longer than I realized, but that is the road dog I'm going to make. So here I have the body from the Battle Pack road dog and um, this really is going to be relatively simple as far as like the parts and everything um i was able to get a bunch of the extra elite road dogs um the legend ones which before that road dog was not easy to come by so i was not messing with his figures making customs out of them but i'm going to be swapping the arms i wanted to have the like shooter sleeve i wanted to have um the wrist tape so i'll find another use for the double jointed arms um the head though i think i'm going what i'm going to do with the head is take off the hair that's on his true effects head because it's a really good scan it looks really good with the true effects and i'm just going to modify it take off the hair dremel it so it's nice and smooth on top and here i'll show you up close so you can get a little better idea so what i'm going to do is take off this top hair piece and then the rest of the hair is molded so i'm going to dremel it so it's smooth so then when I'm done, he just has his like bald head, his shaved head like he did when he was um, back on that his last WWE run he had. And I think that's going to look really good. Um, it'll just, no, whatever. Um, it'll have the updated arms. And then as always, I have my decals from Curb Stomp. So um, the, they're literally the decals that uh, he has on that basic um he's gonna have these i'm gonna update the pants i mean it's 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 essentially just turning this ba the basic into an elite but i'm excited for how it's gonna look and then i will do an updated billy gun to go with him as well um they came in that battle pack together so i'm gonna do that and for this shirt i'm not gonna do the like tucked in look i'm going to use the x-pox shirt i think that's what looked the, looks the best um that's what curb sound does in his um photos to like show you how the decals go and i think that that shirt mold is the best for road dog um as far as just parts and everything um i've messed around with a few different ones and I, that's just what i like the most so um i'm excited it's gonna look good i want um i need to have like that whole authority and while the new age outlaws like weren't technically like authority they were kind of working with hunter at that time so i want them in my collection i want them on my shelf as elites and this is my first step so i'll be right back with my updated road dog all right back with road dog this is one that like i wasn't dying to have in my collection but I had the basic, I had the two-pack with him and Billy Gunn from um, when they had that last run in WWE, and I'd rather have an Elite on my shelf than a basic, so I had the extra Road Dog pieces, I knew it had to be done. Um, the head turned out better than I thought it would. Um, I didn't really know if, like, dremeling off the top would translate. Um, I Like, you just never know. Sometimes in your head, things are going to work. You, you think of it, and you think hell yeah, this is going to look awesome. And then you do it and you think, wow, either I F this up bad or it just wasn't a good plan to start with. So um, I'm happy with how it turned out. And I think, you know, maybe at the top. So I, I kind of didn't think about this. So the, the top, once I got rid of the hair, was like completely weird. So like up, up close, it looks a little funky. I had to fill this in with sculpting clay because there was a big hole in the top so then i just took like a brown wash and painted over everything and it camera makes it look way worse um 
it's good enough to where if you just put it on the shelf, you're not going to notice head on. Um, I could have put more work and more time into it, but I didn't want to mess up this tattoo. And I, um, I still have the extra head. So, and I mean, this itself was just an extra head. So, um, I experimented. I was happy with how it worked. I really was just more concerned with the shirt and the pants and the pants decal just turned out great. Um, it just went on seamlessly. I got the, again, I got the swivel here. I got it cut so that it moves. Um, the boots turned out well. And sometimes like you can see up close here, sometimes it like gets a little wrinkled, um, which happens more with the colored or with, yeah. So like the black or like I have, I've done red. Um, sometimes more with those colored decals, they get a little wrinkled if they go on and they're not soft enough. Um, so that happened a little bit, but not much. It still turned out pretty well. Um, there we go. But I'm really happy with this. I, I, like I said, I'm going to work on a Billy Gunn to go with it. So I have both of the New Age Outlaws. You can't really have one without the other. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, you know, I was so proud of myself for remembering. And then I forgot again. Let me go grab some comparisons. Okay, one of these days it'll become a force of habit and I'm just gonna remember and I'm gonna keep doing it. Here's his Elite 26 with, um, I don't know, there might be a torso swap under there, I don't remember. And then here is the um, a custom, which I haven't quite, I think, I, I don't know. I need to do some more work on it. I'm just not quite sure what. So that's his like new generation attire kind of when he, just joined up with Billy Gunn, but there's three road dogs for you to look at. Um, both of those other ones uh, coincidentally use the Elite 26 head, so they've got the, dra the braids all the way down the back. Um, the DX Army one is somewhere. Um, I couldn't find them right away, so I just decided to go with these two, but I, I mean, I, Road Dog has such cool attires, and I'm glad I could add this one, um, give them that modern look, but, um, He'll make an appearance again once I get Billy Gunn done. I gotta find all those parts, get them put together, do some painting, get some decals, all that fun stuff. And my New Age Outlaws will be like done, done. I probably won't have too many more customs need to make of these guys. Maybe like a TNA when they were the Voodoo Mafia or whatever. <laughs> um, which now I say that that's definitely gonna happen. So bear with me. We'll, we'll have to crack into TNA some more one day too. But that's gonna wrap up today's Work in Progress Wednesday. Like, share, subscribe, you know the deal. And remember, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy wrestling figures. Figure Dude, out.